Hi guys, Tim here from MacArthur Solar and today we're doing a, a little bit of a behind the scenes view of how we take care of doing our designs. So, on the screen in front of you, you will see a layout of the site that we're looking to work on. So what we do from here is we can easily just drag and drop our favourite panels, which are the Trina Vertex S Plus panels, out onto the site here. And from that we can determine what the best angles are going to be for the system. So, once we've got a good place to start, we can add in a few extra panels there and you'll see that increase in the amount of production that the system is able to produce. So, we will just add in two little rows here as an example, being careful of that little whirly bird we have on the roof there. So, this has put together about 11.4 kilowatts out on the roof there. So, once we've got this panel layout set up, we can jump into the inverter options and we can grab a suitable inverter. So, this being a three phase site, we would look at the Solar Edge 10 kilowatt inverter. So, we'll select that one off the list here and then comes the fun part stringing it all together. So, these are capable of stringing together a wide amount of panels. So, what we'll do is opt for two strings of 13 panels connected like so. Then once we have that in place, we will do our disconnection point up on the roof there, which is going to be showing the team where that disconnection point is going to end up on the roof. We will nominate where the main switchboard for the site is located and also our determined inverter location. So in this example here, this one would be internalized. So we will just add a little note here to say that that's going to be going inside the garage. Then once we have that sort of blueprint laid out, we will connect the main switchboard to the inverter and then the DC connection up to the panels there as well. So we'll get that one popped in and that's what goes into designing your systems.